प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस विथ थर्मल नॉइज एज वेल एज शॉर्ट नॉइज नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ इंटरनल नॉइज इज ट्रांजिट टाइम नॉइज ट्रांजिट टाइम नॉइज ऑकर्स एट हाई फ्रिक्वेंसीज वेन ट्रांजिट टाइम ऑफ चार्ज कैरियर्स क्रॉसिंग द सेमी कंडक्टर जंक्शन एप्रोचेज द सिग्नल पीरियड दिस टाइप ऑफ नॉइज इंक्रीजेस रैपिडली वेन ऑपरेटिंग अबोव द डिवाइस हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी कट ऑफ Time required to cross PN junction close to parity of the signal. Active devices, integrated circuits, diode, transistor, etc., also etc., also exhibits a low frequency noise, which is called frequency dependent. And whenever the the the, the noise which is frequency dependent is called as flicker noise. now there are some equations we can call it as a noise calculation if there are two sources if there are two voltage sources in series then how we are going to calculate total noise voltage we know the formula vn is square root of 4 kt delta f r so vn1 is the one voltage source vn2 is the second voltage source so vn1 is given by the formula square root of 4 kt delta f into r1 why it is r1 because this noise voltage is produced due to resistor r1 second voltage source is vn2 which is given by the formula square root of 4 kt delta f into r2 why this is r2 because this noise voltage vn2 is due to resistor resistor r2 now the total is given by the sum of their effect is given by vn total is square root of vn square plus V n to square. So put the value of square root of both the values, and final answer we are getting is V n total is square root of 4 k t delta into R 1 plus R 2. Now by using this equation, we have an example. Calculate the noise voltage at the input of a television R F amplifier using a device that has 200 ohm equivalent noise resistance and 300 ohm input resistor the bandwidth of the amplifier is 6 megahertz and the temperature is 70 degree celsius so the vn total that is the total noise voltage is because we have two resistors one value is 200 ohm second is 300 so the formula is square root of 4 kt delta f r total square root of 4 the value of k is 1.38 into 10 to the minus 23 Temperature seventeen plus two seventy three, bandwidth six into ten raised to six into this is important. It is addition of both three hundred and two hundred. So the total answer is six point ninety three into ten raised to minus six or six point ninety three microvolts. Now whenever we check the performance of the system, is the System is okay or not? It is given by one concept which is called as SNR. SNR stands for signal to noise ratio. Numerator is the signal, denominator is the noise. Means we always required less noise as compared with the signal. So numerator must be greater than denominator. So SNR must be always more for better performance of the system to quantify the effect of noise on a signal we use signal to noise ratio a strong signal and weak noise results in a high signal to noise ratio and weak signal and strong noise results in a low signal to noise ratio just i mention numerator must be greater than denominator the first diagram or the sine wave is signal without noise because there is no any disturbance there is no any distortion second it is 20 db snr the snr is is it either it is unitless or it is measured in decibel it is a 20 db in the second diagram and it is a 10 db in the second diagram in the first diagram it is without noise and in second and third it is with noise there is some distortion there is some noise we have SNR signal to noise ratio. It is given by Vs upon Vn. Vs stands for signal voltage, and Vn stands for 
नॉइज वोल्टेज एस अपॉन एन इज वी एस अपॉन वी एन इन टर्म्स ऑफ पावर इट इज गिवन बाय पी एस अपॉन पी एन सी द नोटेशन वी एस इज सिग्नल वोल्टेज वी एन इज नॉइज वोल्टेज पी एस इज सिग्नल पॉवर एंड पी एन इज नॉइज पॉवर सी द डायग्राम द समेशन साइन इज देयर एंड अपर डायग्राम इज a signal either it is a vs or ps and the noise is added it is denoted by either vn or pn and the, at the output of this summer we have signal plus noise there are two reasons why we calculate equivalent noise of a device it is to compare two devices in order to evaluate their performance if there are two devices and we have to check their performance then individually for device number 1 calculate snr for device number 2 calculate snr the device having more snr has better performance also to compare the signal and the noise at the same point to ensure that noise is not excessive and last the measure for this calculation is the signal to noise ratio this is a relative measure of the desired signal power to the noise power So signal to ratio in it is it can be measured in decibels also. SNR in dB is given by the formula 20 log Vs upon Vn. Same SNR ratio in dB in terms of power is given by 10 log Ps upon Pn. So either we calculate in terms of voltage or in terms of dB. noise ratio we often need to quantify how much noise a device adds to a signal as it passes through the device it is the noise ratio see the input signal amplifier and the output signal so the noise ratio will be signal upon noise input and signal upon noise output this is called as snr also it is also denoted by a noise figure nf consider the example at a room temperature 293 degree kelvin calculate the thermal noise generated by two resistors having value 20k and 30k when the bandwidth is 10 kilohertz and the resistors are connected in series the value of k is given constant it is b is given t is given r1 and r2 are given so the total is given by vn is square root of 4 ktb into the bracket addition r1 plus r2 so the answer will be 284.48 into 10 raised to minus 7 volt so this is total information about the noise what we discuss in this lecture the important parameter is nothing but the snr which will check the performance of the system and snr is measured in either decibel or it is it is unitless it is measured in terms of voltage or power